Thank you for visiting my channel. I am the actuarial guy. Please remember to subscribe to receive the latest videos from my channel. Now let us look at question 4, part 1 of the April 2005 paper. Now the question deals with uh, with the force of interest. So the force of interest delta is a function of time and at any time t is given by this. Now in this example delta is a function of time. It is not constant and as time changes delta also changes such that between time uh, for any time t less than 8 that is uh, from time 0 all the way to year 8 the force of interest is given by 0 0.07 minus 0 0.05 t such that if you want to to find out what the force of interest will be at uh, let's say time time 3 what you would do is is substitute 3 here such that you have 0 0.07 minus 0 0.05 times 3 and when you do that you get that your delta is approximately 0 0.055 now for any times greater than 8 that is from year at the end of year 8 onwards year 9, year 10, the force of interest is constant and is given by 0 0.06. So let us look at the question. Calculate the accumulation at time t is equal to 10 of 500 invested at time t is equal to 0. So in other words, this question requires us to accumulate 500 pounds over 10 years. Now note that from for the first 8 years the 500 pounds will be accumulated at this rate 0 0.07 minus 0 0.05 t. Remember that the force of interest in year 1 will be different from the one in year 2 and it will be different from the one in year 3. Well from times after time uh, year 8 you get, uh, for year 9 and year 10, the force of interest will be 0 0.06. So how do we accumulate this amount for 10 years? Now remember that under the force of interest, your accumulation factor is given by the exponential of this integral here such that if you're told that uh, accumulate uh, if you're asked to accumulate an amount c over a time period from t1 all the way to tn what you will do is multiply c by this accumulation factor from time t1 to tn in the case of force of interest your accumulation factor is given by the exponential of the integral of the force of interest over the period t1 to tn. In our example, we will integrate the force of interest over the period 0 to 10. So uh, to get the accumulated value in our example, we are going to multiply 500 by the accumulation factor from time 0 to 10. Now I want you to remember that under the principle of consistency, if we want to accumulate an amount, let's say from time 0 to 10, it's the same as accumulating this amount from time 0 to 1 and then multiplying by the accumulation factor from time 1 to 9 and then multiplying that by the accumulation factor from time 9 to 10. That is called the principle of consistency. So in our example, it would be the same as multiplying 500 by the accumulation factor from time 0 to 8 and then multiplying it, multiplying it again by the accumulation factor from time 8 to 10. 
Now our accumulation factor from time 0 to 8 is given by the exponential of the force of interest which is 0 0.07 minus 0 0.05 t over the time period 0 to 8. Note that I've broken this into two parts because the force of interest applies uh, is not constant throughout the whole period. It varies with time. From time 0 to 8, this is the force of interest, while from time 8 onward to 10, it's, it's, it is 0 0.6. So, to, in order to work out the force of interest from the accumulation factor, sorry, from time 0 to 8, you simply work out the exponential of this integral from time 0 to 8. And working that out, the, the integral becomes 0.07t minus 0.005t squared over 2. Uh, and introducing the limits, you end up with exponential of 2 over 5. Now, to work out the accumulation factor from time 8 to 10, it's simply the exponential, uh, it's simply the exponential of the integral of 0 0.06 from time 8 to 10. And that simply translates to 0 0.06t with the limit as 10 and 8. Now, that gives you 0 0.12, simply because exponential of 0 0.06 times 10 minus 0 0.06 times 8 is that. So to find the accumulated value of the 500 pounds over a period of 10 years, we would simply multiply 500 by the two accumulation factors, first from time 8 and then from time 8 to 10. So 500 times exponential of 0 0.4 and then times the exponential of 0 0.12. If you do that, you end up with your answer as 841 pounds and 1 pence. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please remember to subscribe to receive more videos from my channel. I am the Actuarial Guy.